you probably hear more from business leaders about corporate taxes uh, being uh, uh, causing them to fight with one hand tied behind their back in terms of foreign competition. Corporate taxes, a percentage of GDP, have gone down from about 4% in 1960 to 2%. So they've been cut in half as a percentage of GDP. But health care has gone from 5% of GDP to 17% of GDP. And business pays a lot of the health care costs. So you've, you've lost 12 points, and there's only 100 cents in the dollar. But you've lost 12 points. Now, in other countries, uh, the most industrialized countries, a number of them were also around 5% in 1960, and some of those have gone up to maybe 11 or something of the sort. But in terms of the costs of manufacturing and really everything throughout the economy that gets related to health care, and health care is one-seventh, one-sixth of the whole economy, uh, we've had a 12-point movement against American business, and it continues. And uh, I don't see anything necessarily in the, in the horizon that, uh, that uh, would cause that number to be, I think it's more likely to go up than down unless we change something fundamental. When something has happened to that extent, you better not count on it reversing itself from natural causes. There's a reason why it's happening and you better attack the reason if you care about changing the course of the, uh, of the cost. Charlie, let's let, let's get your perspective on this. You are the the head of Good Samaritan Hospital. You're the chairman of Good Samaritan Hospital in Los Angeles, so you know healthcare uh, on a very firsthand basis when it comes to this. Uh, the whole you... system is cockamamie. It's almost ridiculous in its complexity, and it's steadily increasing cost. And Warren is absolutely right. It, it gives our companies a big disadvantage in competing with other manufacturers. They've got single-payer medicine, and we, we're paying it out of the company. You've also said, though, that there are some incredibly good aspects about our health care system, that well, you're, you're we, better off being we, sick here than anywhere else. We have the best medicine at the top, and we'll, we invented 60% of the world's good drugs. So we're, you know, we're an amazing place, but if you look at it up close, the amount of waste from overtreatment of the dying is just disgusting. It's a lot wrong with the system. How would you fix it? I would go to some form of Medicare for all, and I would place it pretty hard to keep out the fraud. Which is universal health care system, essentially. Yeah, with, with more anti-fraud. Yet the same thing in workman's comp. There's a lot of fraud and abuse in the workman's comp system. And the only way to keep it out is to be very tough on it all the time. And of course, the government's not very good at that. So you know, What's the incentive for some employee for the government fighting some poor guy with a broken back who, who's lying about everything? And so it, it's a very serious problem. But I think we should have single-payer medicine eventually, and I think we should squeeze a lot of the fraud and folly out of the system. You're a Republican, so... Yes, but I'm, I'm not a normal Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.